So um, the main important thing, guys, I think with the logarithm, which I know is more difficult for many of you because we are going to discuss that actually after this chapter. All right, so we will go through it, but we did discuss. This is a 12 basic function. This is something you should know at least what this graph looks like. Um, so if we look at the logarithmic function, if you guys remember, just the parent graph, y equals ln of x, looks like that. Now, and then also remember that there is a vertical asymptote there. So we just looked at this graph with no transformation. So let's just talk about this. Is that graph continuous? Can you draw the graph without lifting up your pen or pencil? Yes, it's not defined for all real numbers, but that's not what the definition of continuous is. The definition of continuous is it's defined for all, number, all real numbers within its domain. And its domain is obviously from 0 to infinity. right? So you can see that this function is defined from 0 to infinity, and it's continuous. There's no breaks, holes, or asymptotes that break up the graph. right? There is an asymptote here, but that doesn't break up the graph. right? So then we look at, well, what is this minus 3 plus 2 doing? Well, all that's doing is just shifting the graph three units to the right and then up two units. So now, when I redraw the graph, is the graph still continuous? Yeah, it just got shifted, right? So the main important thing, guys, is, again, you could graph it and identify that. But yeah, the, you got to be careful. It says no breaks. So even though there is an asymptote, it's not breaking up the graph. So therefore, it is a continuous function. Okay, So don't get that confused. A lot of people will see like an asymptote or a hole or something like that. And they'll say, oh, it has to be, um, it, you know, it can't be continuous. Well, no, that's not true. 